I guess the big question of the day is, who wants good news? I have good news. We are at the East Town Mall in Madison, Wisconsin, home of Wisconsin's well, probably going to end up being the first supercharger. Look what we got here. We got construction. Uh, it looks like they started tearing up a portion of uh, of the parking lot in front of J.C. Penney, right where the permitting says that uh, supercharger is being installed at. Um, it's really, really freaking cold out right now. Uh, about five degrees. Um, I'm not going to go out and walk around. Plus, I got two kids in a car. Plus, to get to my destination, I have 58 miles rated range left, and I got exactly 54 miles to go in. Oops, sorry about that. In zero degree, in about well, five degrees, which means I am going to be driving extra slow. If I was smart, I'd go down the street right over there and top off at the level two. But um, let's see if we can focus, focus, focus. Got some conduit running. Looks like they're going to put the cabinet probably in the corner there with the multiple conduits. Um, that'd be the only spot there could be because uh, I gotta get used to using a zoom. Um, there's not much space between the uh, the median kind of thing there, but uh, we are in front of. Uh, Barnes and Noble. Ah, screw it, I'm gonna roll the window down. I can't focus like that. There we go. Barnes and Noble. Buffalo Wild Wings. JC Penny. Uh, and the food court. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, okay, window's going back up. It's flipping cold out. Vinny. Say hi, Vinny. He's all happy. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Are you happy they're putting in a supercharger for Daddy? Yes. We have it all to ourselves. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Not going to be all to ourselves. Uh, so, drive slowly. Hopefully nobody else wants to get around. They dug pretty deep there. Yep. Oh, actually, there we go. That's probably where they're going to put in the cabinet, either that or a transformer. Put two new posts in and a new transformer pad. Uh, and that will probably be where the uh, supercharger cabinet's going to end up. Yeah, they dug up quite a bit there. So, I guess I wasn't too far off. Um, because they, this whole section got closed off. You'll probably remember that from one of my first videos. Got some big electrical contracting solutions over there. Iconia. It vaguely sounds like the company that's doing the superchargers. Unless they're going to be putting it out there. I, I doubt it, though. But, um... That was... That's the good news of the... That's your good news for Thanksgiving. Um, we all thought Pleasant Prairie would be done first. However, that is not the case. So apparently it's going, will be East Town. Uh, because I, I believe Pleasant Prairie was approved before East Town. I'm actually, uh, personally for me, um, East Town is going to be a better one for me as a starter. Uh, because it looks like in the winter time when it gets cold out, I am going to have trouble making my drive to Wisconsin Dells and uh, user request uh, supposedly there's going to be one going into in Mauston which is about 20 miles 20-25 uh, miles north of Wisconsin Dells um, I'm personally very disappointed that they are putting it 20 miles north of the Dells instead of in the Dells given that I have the only level 2 charging point in the Wisconsin Dells and that charging point was absolutely swamped all last summer with Tesla's uh, charging um, unfortunately due to uh, um, uh, meter not meter capacity but panel capacity well, yeah um, service entrance capacity we could only do a 40 amp plug um, I think uh, we've changed some things around we might be able to do two 40 amp plugs which I would I think that would be preferable over a single 
80 amp as uh, not as many people have the dual chargers in their cars. But come on, we have the only level twos in, in, in the, within a 60 mile radius. Uh, Madison's got the next closest level two charger. Uh, so uh, I think they would have been better off putting uh, the supercharger in Milwaukee instead of Madison. Excuse me. I just screwed that whole, I, I just screwed that last sentence up. They should have put it in Wisconsin Dells and not Mauston. More people would have been able to get use of it. Uh, yeah, I know they don't want to use superchargers as a destination charging, but when you don't even have a level two, uh, you only got one level two within 60 miles. Um, a 110 ain't gonna cut it. Uh, this is a uh, tourist location. People aren't just gonna park their cars and walk everywhere. It's not gonna be economical. They need something in the Dells. I'm actually gonna approach uh, the power company. Uh, we do have a, uh, a hydroelectric plant right in Wisconsin Dells on the big Wisconsin Dells Dam, Kilbourne Dam, and I'm going to approach them. And my acceleration onto the freeway has knocked me down to 55 miles range left with 42 miles, or excuse me, 52 miles distance to go. Uh, so I'm going to approach uh, the hydroelectric plant to see if they'd be interested in putting a Chatemo in and having a uh, um, Tesla Model S to Chatemo adapter available. Um, either for free or paid station, uh, given that the power is free to them. It's a hydro plant, um, and it's actually running extraordinarily under capacity. They have like four four turbines, and at any one time, I think they're only running one, to, one all the time, and sometimes two very peak of the summer where all the ACs are going, like the summer of 2012, which was our hottest year in like 100 years. Um, I think that's the only, the only year I can remember they had like all, all their turbines running or uh, something like that. Um, so anyways, back, uh, I, I, you guys know me, I get off track very easily. Um, uh, or where was I? Boston, yeah. Um, so now someone that's going to the Dells has to drive out of their way, burn an extra 20 miles to get to Boston to top, to charge up their pack, just to turn around and come 20 miles south back to the Dells, losing 20 miles range, which is recoverable on a 110 outlet, reasonably, reasonably recovered overnight on a 120 outlet. Um, is it ideal? No. It's still a royal waste of time, considering there's also not very many 120 volt outlets publicly available in the Dells. Um, someone's excited. You getting all excited? Yes, you are. So um, that's that. Those are my thoughts. Um, uh, but we're gonna check it out. Um, I have not heard anything officially about Boston. Just a few uh, users in the Tesla Motors Club forums. Um, so um, I'm more than happy to check it out. It's not gonna cost me a penny. To, uh, it probably will cost me about a penny <laughs> to drive there a couple more pennies to drive back to the Dells um, and since tomorrow is going to be around 5 degrees again um, I'm hoping to see now when I left the house actually oh see that's why I gotta wear my glasses more 31 degrees where the heck did I get 5 from okay 31 degrees well uh, tomorrow, I, oh, that's tomorrow, it's going to be 5. I'm losing it. Sorry, guys, I'm losing it. 31, no, nope, now we're down to 30. You know what? I was sitting at an angle before when I looked at that, and it was 35, I, and the angle I was sitting at the side of the screen cut off the 3. That's where I thought it was fine. Well, either way, it was friggin' cold out. Um, I just got a little bit of a chill this morning working outside. Yes, I was mowing the lawn at 30-something degrees out today. This is Wisconsin. One day you're mowing the lawn, literally the next day you're snow blowing. Three days later you're mowing the lawn again. <laughs> Gotta love it. Right, boo boo? Oh, fireworks. <laughs> Better fireworks start. Nice. Um, 
If anybody ever needs an emergency charge on the side of the road, there's a BMW root beer. Come on, focus. Focus. Oh, wrong side. Focus. Uh, anyways, BMW right there. Um, very kind. Uh, they have 20 amp, 120 volt outlet. Um, and uh, all you do is ask the manager, or, like, or don't even ask the manager, just pull it, plug it right in, go inside, get some food. Uh, great for emergencies. I had to do an emergency top off there once uh, when I had to go 40 miles out of my way. So, anyways, uh, this should have been a two minute video. And what am I at? I'm at 10 minutes and 45 seconds. Uh, Seriously, anybody out there has a radio program they'd like a DJ or a talk show host for? Uh, I gotta get on Vicky McKenna's show again. Or Bark Belly. I'm losing it. I need to get on the air. I miss being on radio so bad. You're better at TV show. I like a TV show, but I'm ugly. Nobody likes to look at an ugly person on TV. And that's the ugly person's funny. I'm ugly. So I don't think I'm good at TV. Oh, I've been on TV. I've been on TV. I used to be a uh, long time ago. I used to be a model for Kohl's department stores. And uh, you know what? I'm starting to dip into my uh, my Model S road trip video conversations again. So I'm going to cut it out now. Uh, tomorrow during the daytime, we're going to buzz around Mauston. Mauston's teeny tiny little village. Uh, city, uh, what do they call it? Village town? Town of Mauston. Village of Mauston. I think they call it town. It's too darn small to be a city, although I could call it a city, but I could probably drive around the whole, for purpose of the video, I'm going to call it city. I could probably drive around that whole city in less than five minutes. So we're going to check out to see if there's anything going on there. And uh, I don't know if they're going to be doing any work on that supercharger this weekend, but uh, I'm probably going to head back to Milwaukee Sunday night, if not Monday morning. I'd be more than happy to stop again, and I will see if there's any changes. If not, um, I'm probably going to be on a two-week hiatus uh, going to the Dells, so I will not be going to the Dells uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Um, so, but I will be the following weekend after that. We're going to have a little get-together at the Riverside Great Northern Railway. Uh, great little railway, 15-inch uh, gauge, and they have 7.5-inch gauge in the Wisconsin Dells. Uh, I'm, I'm a part-time volunteer member there, and uh, it's all non-profit if you're ever in the Dells. Please stop by. I know the tickets are a little expensive. It's 12 bucks a ticket, but um, there's literally no place like this in the world anymore. Um, uh, the Riverside Great Northern actually built the Milwaukee County uh, Zoo's uh, locomotives when it was the Sand Sandley Light Engine Corporation. Um, so, great place to stop, and we're going to have a little get together. Uh, it's all closed up for the winter. Last get together of the season. I'll probably do a few video shots. We might go for a little ride on the diesel. Um, otherwise, if you're interested in that, uh, just look under my account. I have a, a whole section of videos, um, train videos. Uh, a lot of them are from the uh, Riverside and Great Northern. Um, for some reason, my thumb's not moving over to hit the stop recording button. But, okay. Um, see you guys in my Austin video tomorrow.